Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio and in this video guide I'm going to show you how you can install the LAMP stack in your Linux distribution. So this guide is for Ubuntu or Debian web distribution. So if you have one then you are good to go. And the guide can also be used on different distributions. So it doesn't matter kind of because the package manager will be different and everything will be same. So let's follow along the installation. So a LAMP stack stands for L is the Linux operating system, A is the Apache 2 server, the M is for database, the MariaDB or MySQL and P for backend scripting language and in this stack that is PHP. So LAMP is an acronym for these things and you need to get these four things to uh, get up and running. And you may want to get these things because you want to develop an application using this stack and uh, you may want to double up it locally then you want to upload it on an actual web server or maybe there is a case that you have a server and you want to configure this stack so that you can host your website there in either case you are good to go with this guide so now let's get into the installation so the l is for linux operating system and you probably have one so now let's install the other three aspects of the stack and that is the apache server 2 so for that you can execute the installation command that is sudo apt install apache2 hit enter type in the password and this will get the apache2 from the official repository and you may want to update the repo before executing this command because in some cases you may have newly installed the distribution and that distribution may not have an updated list of packages from the official repository so execute the sudo apt update command to get the list of packages so after installing the apache 2 we need to install the database and in this case we have mysql and mariadb you can choose any one of these and for that i have already made a separate video so you can check out this video and install the mysql or mariadb database server so after that we will move on to the php and uh, php can be installed using the same command that is sudo apt install and just type php hit enter and hit enter again and this will install the php in your system the latest version is available in the official repository that is 7.4 so that will be installed in the system apart from the mysql database php and apache you also need some modules for php and they are essential for using the database and the apache server and for some different stuff as well so one module is already installed that is lib apache 2 because it is required so that uh, php can work properly with the apache server but there are different modules as well that are needed and i'm going to provide you these all commands here so you do not have to worry about the modules because you will find these commands in the description below you can simply copy and paste those commands here so php is already installed so this also needs to install these few modules like for mysql this one and the other modules as well so i can simply hit the enter and this will install the other required modules so those modules are also installed in the system the php cli module that i also install the lamp installation setup is done now let's test it so to test it we have to start the apache server so let me clear the terminal and you check whether apache server is running or not for that you can type sudo systemctl then this status then apache2 and this will give you the status of the server so as you can see the server is up and running but as we install some other modules after installing the apache2 so we need to restart the server for that you can type again sudo systemctl then restart and uh, apache 2 now the apache 2 server has been restarted now to check you can simply head on to the local host of your system for that open up your browser and just type the local as ip address or the local host itself so i can type just local host here hit enter and you should uh, get this window here this is apache ubuntu default page and here i can also type 127.0.0.1 this is the ip address for localhost and this basically give you the same result because they are both the same and if you want to check out where the web directory is so that you can 
paste your web application there so just open up the file manager and go to your root directory so this is the root directory here you will find this uh, option bar so this is a folder and in this folder you will find this www folder and inside this folder this is the html folder so this is the html file that you are seeing here so you can easily create a php file here as well so i'm going to open up the terminal and here i'm going to open up the nano text editor to create a php script for that i can type sudo then nano and i'm going to call it in text.php and inside this i'm just going to print the php in function so for that i can type php info i can simply save this file and exit out from the nanotex editor now if i go to the web page here and i can type in text.php hit enter and i should see this php version page here so i can find all the the configuration settings about the php here so this is the proof that the lamp stack is working properly and uh, you can start developing your application so that was the guide about how to install a lamp stack and ubuntu or for that fact on any linux distribution only the package manager is different in the guide and everything is same so i hope you find this video helpful if you did then do not forget to subscribe to this channel hit the like button and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux